Hello Virgo. This is uh, Delilah Spiritual Spot and I'm Delilah Rose and this is for um, Virgo signs, Sun, Moon and Ascendant. So this is your September forecast. This is for all Virgos. So whatever doesn't resonate, you leave and take what does resonate with you. I'm going to be using my Animal Spirit Oracle cards, my Golden Girls uh, Tarot cards, my Modern Witch Tarot, and my Light Sears deck. So first we start with um, our Golden Girls Tarot for our overarching message. Um, and if you like these videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will commence. Five of Swords. The overarching message. I'm going to see what spirit animal uh, we give you or our spirit gives you. And we have the beaver spirit lay a solid foundation now this is wonderful because the five of swords speaks to a battle but a battle specifically with someone abusive or bullies and this animal speaks to you laying the foundation laying down the law of what is and is not acceptable in your life Virgo so I love this uh, so far for you so I'm using the light series deck um, and I shuffle in between um, my readings off camera and let's see so the first two cards I'm going to pull is going to be the subconscious and the conscious mind so let's see if spirit gives me well you have four cards and I will read them all so let's turn these over so this speaks to your emotions Virgo um, yeah I love the way this is going this is this is working out wonderfully right so all is not lost and I think that's what I'm going to call this all is not lost Virgo so let me let's get into this so again with this five of pentacles um now that i have the overview i see where these overarching messages are coming from so you've dealt with a uh, a-hole basically someone who was verbally physically or mentally abusive you have walked away from this person and and you're laying down the foundation of your own personal growth here let's move this in camera we have the subconscious mind you know, this breakup feels like a death. It is a death, but it's also a rebirth for you. Um, stop chasing people who don't want to get caught. You know, the person I'm feeling, Spirit's giving me, the person you were dealing with was cheating. There's a lot of infidelity here, but not necessarily in the physical sense. It's a betrayal. You know, abuse, period, is a betrayal, whether the person is cheating on you, hitting on you, mentally abusing you you know it's it's just a it's it's very emotional it's very hard um your conscious mind you can't hide your feelings you know your uh, subconscious and your conscious mind are in tune with this you are feeling the heartbreak the loss the you know the intensity of this person screaming you know out into the ethers about this situation um, but what I like about here is this is the beginning. This is the beginning of you learning about yourself, not necessarily about, you know, that other person, because that other person is no longer in your life. This is you learning about you and moving forward. So the first week of September, we see you focus, but we now we see you focused on work because you need to put your energies elsewhere. We see you're focusing on work and trying to move forward and just trying to get on with your life, right? And pentacles is money. So money, work, 
you know, getting the focus off of this person. The Five of Pentacles here is for the second week of September, you're really thinking about this person. So now this is affecting your work because now you can't focus. And that's normal. We all go through that seesaw up and down, up and down, up and down. The third week of September, we see that, you know, you're thinking about your family life, what you want, you know, what you want to see uh, your life, where you want to see your life go. And the fourth week, you're manifesting. We're thinking about the person you want in your life. And it's funny that this is Leo energy, um, this emperor, you know, he is amazing. He is in control. He is a strong person, but gentle at the same time. He is unlike the person who you dealt with, you know, and again, these masculine, he, she's are interchangeable. Don't feel like if, you know, you, if you're a female and it, you're a lesbian, this is dictating men. This is not men, women. This is really masculine and feminine energies. I'm just gonna clarify these cards. So I work the way spirit dictates me to work. I may draw these cards out in the beginning. I may draw it out during. I may not draw them out at all, but I feel like we need some clarification. And this actually has two cards. So remember in the beginning of the week, we say you're gonna, you're focusing. You're focusing on yourself. This Queen of Swords is in control, right? So you're gonna start feeling in control of yourself and figuring out what it is you want, focusing on you, focusing on work. Um, we also have this Page of Cups here. Now Cups is emotion. She's thinking about, she's going into that phase of thinking about what was lost but what's gained, uh, what's gained. Fives are about change, instability, conflict, you know. So the fact that you have two fives here shows that that energy, that push and pull of, you know, what did I lose? What did I do? Am I moving forward? This is what you're dealing with the first couple of weeks. Um, this page of wands shows that you're you're gonna make the, the steps necessary to start thinking about what it is you want in your life, the type of family, the type of life you want for yourself. This Nine of Cups here highlighting this or clarifying this is saying you're gonna get there. Give yourself time. You know, this is just in the span of four weeks. You know, we know that sometimes mourning a relationship could get, can go on for quite a long time. This emperor, this person you're manifesting in your life, what you really want, you know, is clarified by this queen of pentacles. This queen has it all. You see, she has money, she has her emotions in check. You know, rabbits are, rabbits are a manifestation of the physical. They're good luck. You know, they, they bring you money, like good luck in money, good luck in business. But for her, it's also good luck in her relationships in manifesting the type of person she wants to deal with or he wants to deal with. Again, these are interchangeable. So overall, this is a wonderful reading for you and I wish you well in September. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, if nothing, well, some things are gonna resonate with you and some things are not. Just take what you need from this, this monthly reading and I apologize, this will not be edited. So all the stutters, bumps and jumps will be in this video. I will get better at that, but thank you and I'll see you later.